Well, hello. Hey, howdy. I'm Ken Kitt, Local Fox. If it's your first time here, I'm a very low-energy streamer, thanks to a little thing called uh, sleep disorders. I focus on RPGs with a lot of first plays. I have been known to play other things, and I do love to play old favorites on stream when I can. Now, tonight, I'm going to be picking up Sea of Stars again for Session 2. Uh, got a little too sleepy and couldn't play for very long last time hopefully that doesn't happen this time let's just go ahead and get straight uh get started <clears throat> excuse me okay Wait, where's... Okay, there it is. <clears throat> For some reason, the uh, game's audio is not where it should have been. No, I see that the um, title screen updates with the party sitting around a campfire. Clearly stolen from uh, Small Saga. SMH my head. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if I can remember how to play.
yeah, that remains immensely satisfying. And I just got an achievement for it. Last time we were playing, uh, we got thrown across, uh, well, across the ocean to uh, an island several miles over, it seems. Too quick on the draw for the uh, actual defense, though. Really beans in them up. Forgive me if I'm not being very talkative. Huh? Once again, lack of sleep and... Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> lack of sleep. And I uh, did attempt, once again, to uh, take a nap before the stream. Two mixed results.
enough. More than enough, it looks like. I didn't really um, I don't think I really talked about it much uh, last stream, but the music is quite fantastic. Did I not pick that up? Honestly, hard to come back to RPGs after a, even just a week of being away from them. Just any amount of acclimation you've made to their systems just uh, disappears. At least for me, it does. Greatest foe, normal enemies. Only 144 for it. It looks like ads do not actually um, increase the amount of experience you get. 
Tilly. One moment. I think I see... Goodbye, chatbot. Uh, oops. That was not intentional. <laughs> whoops. I seem to have accidentally pinned something. Okay, back to it. Sure, nothing bad could happen if I jump from here, right? Oh. Guess it worked out in the end back up into the previous area. Yes. that that wasn't enough. Only by a few points. <laughs> oh. I just kind of hastily pushed the button. To... I'm sure that won't be my downfall in the future. Teal, Amber, or... have a certain amount at a time. Okay, that makes sense. Keep forgetting to actually go to, uh, oh wait, there's no camp up? Oh, there it is. Keep forgetting to use this option so I can actually talk to the characters. 
I want to travel in the ball again. No boats up here. Guess we have to keep going east. that that was something you'd actually pass under there. Ah, uh, okay. Pot made of uh, cooking pot lid made of rock. Requires a firm grip. Yeah, why not? So 
something something stone cooking work. work their skills at least. That's the important part. Change your mind after powering up. Interesting. Now, how do I get up there? I think maybe the giant hole might have something to do with it. Soup. I could really go for some mushroom soup. <laughs> Someone's over there. We should ask for directions. I'm still honestly surprised by the uh, cutscenes. I did not expect them <laughs> when I... Uh, looks busy. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, is there something special about that big rock? Yes, come look at this. It's... This looks like... So, what are those? Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? 
traveling historians, of course. Or at least that's what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Convenient. Nice to meet you. My name's Garl. Nice to meet you too. I'm Teeks. Is your first name M? So, are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Valera and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Eh? Magic hair? Enchanted cloth pieces? We're solstice warriors. We... I... I knew it! Adventurers is <laughs> facing the battle, feared it to try mis blah, blah. unravel mysteries unknown and encounter countless uh, forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends! I mean... Well, someone's excited. <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey guys, Teeks has an offer for us, and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly, it's about my book. Eh? <clears throat> Why don't you eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well... Don't be shy. We're happy to have you. Yeah. Plus, you'd have to try girls' cooking. I... Okay, thanks. That's it. One stew coming right up. Teak's design is unbearably cute. Thanks again for the food, girl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So, you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the uh, Lord grimoires were burned. Oh no. More grimoires. The what now? Lower grimoires. Grimoires. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> don't you hate it? You don't cough once, but then you try to try to start talking to people or to recording at all. Lower grimoires. Every tra uh, traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa! A traveling historian's to- oh, excuse me. Smacking my mic around. A traveling historian's duty is to make their Lord Grimoire as full as possible before passing on to a new recruit. There used to be a guild and a whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here. Which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is for adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but... If you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumble upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but... How will we uh, find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. Oh. It's a perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire. Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find, and we'll see in my, um, how my lore grimoire reacts. How many stories do you have so far? 
just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. This first story wrote itself when I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real Lord Grimoire. I thought they, uh, they were thought extinct. What's the story about? A ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. Ooh. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. I didn't even know uh, traveling historians were a thing. I wonder how many of them there used to be. Story time by the campfire. Sign me up. Hey, want to hear the story? Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. I don't think she's a party member. She said she's just going to show up at campfires to uh, tell stories. Which is a shame because her design is really freaking cute. The story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of the captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortense, Hortense remains to this day the shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortonson's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art full-time. Ever a firm believer in that the real treasure is the okay <clears throat> the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation harshly. Utterly installed it, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. We shall remain here, he said, until our navigator gets the silly idea out of her head. But Hortense had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some res resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates, driven mad by hunger and thirst, mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to this ghastly place until only Hortons remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the Sea of Nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the Navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe he will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legends has it, she gets a short break once a day, but only or but, <clears throat> for but a few seconds at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard in search of treasure, most avoid for at dusk for fear of being stumble tongue. We're being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Oh, no comment? Okay. Well, time, about time to hit that old dusty trail. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Eh? Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. Oh. Oh, she's... she's cargo. <laughs> Oh, 
embargo. Yeah, I sure hope it does. What? spot I never got. Right, it's uh hmm. I don't think I got that. Right. Because I forgot to jump down. possibly go wrong if I keep jumping down. Mushroom. More mushroom. So, um, I don't suppose you guys want to talk it out. I was spamming it a little too much there. Ah, uh, I dare you. Yeah, the um, summons, the add-ons, absolutely do not have additional experience. Silver Sword. Right? How dare.
باشیم There we go. That's the way I came. I guess I want to go this way because oh, there just happens to be a dragon circling the entire mountain. Okay. More fishing. Yeah, dragon. ideas. Yeah. I mean, in a setting like Akmeros, they certainly have a lot of room to grow. A grass haddock. shell. At least that one looks like it should give shrimp. Sort of. Yep, tasty man of war. I also do really appreciate that um, ostensibly a standard fishing game, but each fish has a distinctly separate way of. Well, not every fish, but the fish have different um, actual ways to control them. Salad. 
well, I can cook, so it's not that big a deal. Ooh, for the party as a whole. Mushroom scramble. ancient magic can be felt, as if it had all but completely faded away over time. Hey, Davin. Hope you're having a good night. How is everyone tonight, anyway? That's one of them there time puzzles. Sustenance is good. I do recommend being sustained. Learn a combo skill, Solar Rain. does HP regen. The mountains are nice. Oh, God. Good callback. This is the life. The mountains are nice. If I keep pestering you, you're going to give me something. Hey, man, you're nosy. Here, take this. I appreciate it. That said, was I even able to take it? No, I couldn't even take it. Because there was not enough, uh, not enough, uh, food in, or slots for food. Shame. I just... Threw that mushroom soup right on the ground. Mountains are nice. Of course, a snot bubble. Oh no. Another cute. <clears throat> the elder hasn't returned. Malcolm Mud will kill us all. Run. You 
are you? Have you come to save us? Well, of course, they're the Solstice Warriors. Carl. It's true, no? We should help if we can. What's the matter? It's Malcolm Mud, the Earth Elemental Wizard. We're just a peaceful little outpost taking care of the Mine Winds Tunnels. Mine's Wind Tunnels. It's our job. Or it's our... It's our job, it is, to keep uh, them unobstructed so the wind can play the melody for the sleeper. Ah, the sleeper. But now Malcolm has taken over the mine, so we can't go in anymore. And if the sleeper wakes, it'll be the end of the world. What's more, he's clogged the wind powering uh, the great elevator's windmill, so we can't even go to Brisk fast for help. If this continues, Malcolm Mud's minions will start pouring out of the mines and, and... It's okay, we're here to help. What happened next? The Elder went in to try to stop him, but it's been so long. Where's the entrance? Just up there, the top of the outpost, but Malcolm Ed is very powerful. Don't worry, we'll find your Elder. One evil wizard going down. Oh, what luck, thank you! Everyone, stop panicking! Solstice Warriors are here to solve everything. The Elder will return. Malcolm Ed won't kill us all. Yay! I'll let you get on with it then. There's lots for me to learn here. Stonemason's Outpost. Welcome to the Sleepy Mason. Would you like to rest in our geothermal room? Yes. That door sliding open was a little ominous, if I'm honest. Finding an evil wizard was totally on my bucket list. I hope we can help the Mulkins. They seem peaceful. Seem so peaceful. The Mulkins? No. Come back anytime. Thanks, I will. I can't sleep since Malcobud took over the mines. I fear his minions might attack the town at any moment. The water mill stopped now functioning after Malcomud clogged the wind tunnels. There's no water in the well. I really want to take a bath. Were you in the mines to help? Probably should take a bath. Just saying. So much to learn here. This whole Malcolm Ud business is so annoying. I just want to get back to work. Why is everyone angry at Malcolm Ud? I don't get it. There's something else going on here. out, have a look at my equipment and food. Miner smock. Oh, that is significant value for Garl. Abacus. I right, have one equipped. Yeah. Sure. Teal Amber Staff. Go ahead and put that now. Ch 
children. Are you really Solstice Warriors? That's so cool! Mom says we can't go out, but it's boring in here. There's nothing to do. I can't let my kids go outside with everything going on. It's too dangerous. the irony. What's the matter? I need my tools to fix this busted door, but they're in the back room and I can't get through. The lever on the other side seems to be worked just fine. If only there was another way to enter. I'll try to find another entrance. Well, thank you. An expertly the crafted table. Okay. I wish I could have just a giant gemstone table. I guess it's teal amber, isn't it? If the name of the staff I got was any indication. Was an exit. A pump of sorts. With all the panic going on, my brother uh, won't come out of the studio. All he does is paint all day long. Live in the dream. Hmm. This will be my best work ever. Appreciate it. I was running around just a moment ago. Grownups are weird. When I grow up, I want to work in the ground like my parents. If the tunnels keep getting clogged with the wind, uh, the wind will stop playing the melody through the mountain. The sleeper wakes up, we are doomed. Ancient Molkin Cloak. Story. Careful in the mines. Apparently someone spotted a monstrous salamander. Are you so are you the Solstice Warriors? I really hope you can help defeat or the I really hope you can defeat Malcolmud. I really hope you can stop adding words that aren't there. Jump. 
Security remember, uh, rules reminder. No jumping down. That sign can't stop me because I can't wait. Uh, are you the elder? I... I am. And you are? Oh. Solstice worries. We're here to confront Malcolmud. My, how wonderful. Wonderful. What can you tell us about the situation? Not much, I'm afraid. I was simply trying to get away from the noise of all this panic when everyone started cheering as if I was going to fix the problem. Mole. Yeah. Yes, he is. So, now I'm stuck here, equally afraid to venture forth as I am to return to my people without a solution. Don't sweat it, Elder. We got you. I certainly hope so. Be careful in there. Malcolm Ud is one mighty wizard. I wonder how much of this is just a misunderstanding. Mo. Hey, Deimos. Hey there, need something for the road? Very starry. Even though I can't really see them. Suspicious that. Okay, so... I want to try to go not progression. No pushing that, at least not yet, if there is a way to do so. Down in the mole tunnels? Seas and stars don't live there. Oh, uh, no, that's debatable. That's new. Drill bat. I guess so. I see. Sound of water rushing. Resisting sunlight. Who ever heard of such a thing? Bones and meat. Bones and meats and bones of blood. Max 
HP. Sure. Tank girl. Quite enough to stalag bite, of course. I do appreciate a good portmanteau, and I do appreciate a good pun. Pun and portmanteau in one. Uh, yes. I don't know which way is progress. The other, or that way, there looked like more than uh, looked more progress than this one. Uh, I see. Uh, I guess it was progress the other way, but uh, also nothing here yet. eat some of this food. Stand completely. He did not. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was.
Ne ya ne? Kaç para? Oh, I see. That was very Chrono Trigger. <laughs> oh, you brought the power back. I suppose I will be going then. The mines continue below. Please stop, Malcolm Mud. Oh, sure. I suppose I can do that. Make a cook. As good as the pepper you grind into it. Healthy and light. Roast sandwich. Wait. Yeah. Reminder, no jumping down. Let you go your summon, so uh I can do it. the secret to move with us.
Is that a mimic? No? Okay. Bursts of wind to push rocks. Okay. It just seemed a little too obvious. way more effective than I thought it was going to be. What was that noise? It must have been the wind. Something's coming. Oh. So, oh, okay. That's a salamander, I guess. How are you liking that one, Deimos? He's so excitable. Salamanger. Oh. Rude. enough turns to be able to do anything with that. Okay. Well. Oh wait. Let's see. No. Don't mind me, brain. He was that close, huh? He ran away. I doubt the last we'll see of that one. Let's be on our guard. Flashbacks. Okay. Mines key. Yes, it is mines key. Anything else over this way? Christ. Well, for some reason, I thought there was another path over here. Okay. Actually, go back that way.
no summons. Not for you. For some reason, I wasn't expecting Garl to get uh, team attacks with them. <laughs> Level up. There's your stars, Deimos. down mushroom soup in the middle of fight. Ah. 
Okay. All right, let's get a little silly. Shouldn't have been that rough, but I kind of messed. I keep messing up the timing on that. Not timing, but uh, the sequence. Gee, I wonder what I do with that.
Bye-bye. I just looked upset that I disrupted him. <laughs> Which, understandable, really. First, I'm going to go back and uh, rest, and then head the opposite direction. Excuse me, one moment. There. <clears throat> ah. Stuff to collect this way, I think. I just need to be able to push stuff to collect it. I think I may have really gotten my fill of push puzzles from uh, Chained Echoes. Signet. 
into my fort. Are you Malcolm? Ad? Um the um all powerful earth mage, everybody. <laughs> Why did you hurt my pet? Not fair. Rocky can't know that you're just playing if I'm not there with her. What's going on? Playing. You're terrorizing the town. It's just a play, but no one else is strong enough. No one ever understands. Did no one teach you about your powers? Magic is not a toy, Malcolm Ud. So you have to come and berate me too? I got nothing to tell you. You hurt Rocky. Get out of my fort. Okay. Of course. Okay. That is a little blatant. feeling there was going to be something up with this, just the way everyone was acting. Wait, 
No, that's illegal. get the timing on the defense eventually. Look a little rougher or worse for wear there. Gotcha. You're very strong. Did people berate you too when you were kids? Is this why you left your village? Listen, Malcolm, Ed, what just happened here? Uh, you just happened to be born with special powers, and it's a shame no one was able to gu uh, guide you through that. Guide me? Everyone just makes fun of me because I'm not the same. They say Malcolm Mud can't dig. Well, have you given it a try? It's too boring. Cannot do it like everyone else. Everyone likes it, but not me. Everything was only uh everything was made only for others. When I try to say Malcolm Mud is not good, when they say, uh <clears throat> When I try, they say Malcolm Ed's not good. So I give up and they say Malcolm Ed is lazy. I really try, but I don't understand. So I make a port and show them. Uh, it's okay, Malcolm Ed. You don't have to be like everyone else. Girl's right. Normal doesn't have to be your thing. You do. Or you do you. Just, uh. yeah. You're pretty good with earth magic, aren't you? Yes, I love doing magic with rocks and uh, earth and rocks. 
But everyone says I must not do it. I just don't understand yet. I'm sure you could really help them if you wanted. Don't you want to try and do good instead? They only make fun of me because I'm bad with digging. Nah, they just need to see what you can really do. I don't want to show. It's okay, buddy. Take the time you need. I can stay in the fort? Well, it's yours, isn't it? Right, guys? Totally. Yeah, plus your fort is pretty cool. I like you. Well then, can you do us a favor and agree to stop creating monsters? Rocky is not a monster. Of course not. Look at her. You understand. Okay, maybe I will do good if something big uh, need my magic. For now I'll stay here with Rocky. Thank you, I like you. Take care, Malcolm. Ud. Not bad, girl. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little positivity. Look at us, restoring peace to a small town. Still no close to finding a ship, though. Wraith Island. Let's check on the villagers. Surely we can use the lift now. Who's this asshole? Time is ticking. Is everything on track with the preparations? We'll be ready for the eclipse. Ready and excited, too. I fear the sidekick's hesitance might fester. You should get a final confirmation. I will go myself. Three, make sure everything goes smoothly in my absence. The solstice worries have returned. Has the threat been contained? Malcolm had agreed to stop clogging the wind tunnels. We're safe! Hooray! You should have mentioned your role in this. I... Apologies, brave monk. We struggle indeed to give proper bearings uh, to one of his... talent. Well, you better be more respectful in the future. We, not might be, or we may not be here to save you if it happens again. Understood. You have our word and our thanks. Is there anything we can do to repay you? We're looking for a crew of adventurers who might uh, help us set uh, sail to another island. Oh, in that case, you want to visit uh, Port Town of Brisk? Feel free to use the big lift in the south. You're the ones who fixed it, after all. The port Town. Surely we can find a ship there. It's got all sorts of people. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Well, I can't wait. There might be even there might even be a tavern. Let's try that lift. Wait, no. It just ran right for me. Taking a shit. I'll show the world that Smolkins can do more than teal amber carving. Just wait. My best work so far, but I must keep improving. Favorite spot where to play? 
I like it because the view is pretty. My brother's finally finished a painting. I can't believe it. I really want to take a bath. Pump is in there probably just needs to be restarted. Would you mind going? I'll see what I can do. Malcolm had took hide and seek a little too seriously, if you ask me. Uh-oh. It's time to drown a passed out worker. Must activate mill. Honestly, thought the pipe was going to open this way. <laughs> it's good to be back in business. Servicing the wind tunnels is demanding, but teal amber is very valuable. <laughs> hey, you did it! Thanks, I really needed that. Here's for your troubles. Hey, you're the Solstice Warriors who helped us. Now that I have my tools back, I can remove that rock that was blocking the road to the fishing lake. Hold on, it won't take long. is now clear. Hope this is some help to you. Thanks again. So the salamander was Malcolm Mode's pet? What do you mean it just wanted to play? More to push up here top. No, I suppose not. We can work without feeling in danger now, thanks to you. It's just an angle thing. Okay. I thought I had to go higher. <laughs> Mushroom cave. You don't mind me. Just taking your stuff too. Hey, good job, kid. Are my chests okay? No. <laughs> just kidding. It's the least I can offer is payment. Thanks for the help. I should rest and save. Oh, you found a new artifact. Let's see here. The Great Summoning. 
it's not far or it's not fair how people ha uh, have been treating Malcolm Mud. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, uh, Kurt. We're lurking. The dinosaurs. I'm glad we could help. Want to hear a story? What few people know today is that uh, Kunis Nuku uh, had already been banished by the time the Great Summoning happened. Oh, no, I understand. There's a reason that um, I was hesitant to jump on Muse's uh, stream while he was playing this or while uh, he was finishing Chain Echoes, because I need needed to finish that. Uh, I mean, the lurk is appreciated no matter what. <laughs> the channeling had begun months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was towards the end of the uh, decades-long battle, after it became clear the Molkin mages would be the victors. On this night of nights, the air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly, the very sky tore open and the great sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day, historians argue about the origins of the sky serpent. Some say it's a monster of pure evil stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above, uh, above the clouds, a once friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by, uh, corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the Sky Serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of the Ovates, the ritual of the elements uh, could, uh, could have been performed contr uh, to control the Sky Serpent's mind. But alas, the Ovates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at, at hand, the Molkin elementis ele elementalists devised a plan to contain the threat. By carving intricate wind tunnels straight into Ixtol's mountain, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Going through the mountain, the wind started to play a melody so pure it forced the sky serpent into slumber. God, I wish that were me. The magic was strong, and it is believed that the world would remain safe for generations. Or rather, for as long as the mountain played the melody true. For the greater good, the Molkin gave up their study of magic and established an outpost atop the mountain. Over generations, they became expert miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molkin have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world one pickaxe strike at a time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment of the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Ovates will return before then. The end. Let me do a cook. Herb filet. Yeah, why not? All right. Well, oh, right. I should actually do the resting part of the uh, resting at the uh, end. I feel like I left some stuff behind in the mine. Even if I... Oh. That seems pretty close to the serpent. 
And if there's a tavern there, uh, and if there's a tavern, there will be a chef. So maybe I can learn some special recipe or something. Whoa! Garl, check it out! No way! I've been wanting to see the sleeper ever since you were a kid. How does it feel? Like all my summer days are happening at the same time. <laughs> Adventure life is the best life. We're almost there. Get ready for a swim. Oh. Seems like an inconvenient way to um, travel between towns. for a boat? Head over to the port town of Brisk and meet the Captain Cliche's, uh, Cliche's crew. Convenient. What is this infrastructure? Sea stars. I see that. Hold on. Pirate garb. Pirate garb, huh? I said it at the first stream, but the pixel art is gorgeous, if nothing else. Smack uh, and Crossfire here. Yeah, I'm 
think I, there's enough I can build up to do it. Uh, okay. Interesting how you go to a um, lesser form to perform that attack. quite a bit of experience compared to what I was getting. Your chests somehow. City and ore. Boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, boat ship, boat ship. Brisk. I think there might be a ship in Brisk. Can't say for certain. Oh, uh, whoops. Well, one of them's done, at least. 
Looking for a boat, you're almost there. A little too convenient. There's no boat here, better come to Brisk to the east. Combo skill bash drop. I like the sound of it. <laughs> Setting up the camp. We could help. Okay. Same things. Plane way back. Okay. 
them are close enough together, it looks like. Instead, I will have to settle for just getting rid of one of them. Find us at the docks in Brisk. The town of Brisk. I think there might be a boat in Brisk, guys. Chase that push. Chase that venomous uh, jellyfish. Wizard's Lab. That yeah, is pretty abandoned. Maybe if you could get in, it wouldn't be so abandoned. close to being next uh, getting to the next level I'm gonna see if um, the enemies respawn so do.
one more fight should do it. I did get hit pretty hard then. Last one. Uh, okay. Time back is up here. Cradle fish pie. Fish pie. Good time to be alive. Okay. Hope the wheat will respond. I'm sure that was completely unnecessary to do before the next area, but can't not. I don't think it's ever going to become not satisfying to pull that mo uh, move off. Uh, moon Meringue. Then again, I re recall in um, SMRPG. Uh, using the jump attack, uh, jump move. Unnecessarily on enemies that did not really need it just because of how satisfying it is to pull off 
combos like that. No surprises there, really. avoid the fight. Maybe if I timed it better, I wouldn't be in this mess. Port Town of Brisk. I heard there might be a, t a boat here. We made it. Just look at this place. It, okay, that really looks different. Um, you hammering th the sign on the pier? Uh, all done, Captain. The signpost should lead them straight to us. Be on the lookout. We can't miss them. Captain Cliche, of course. Can do, Captain. Look out as my middle name. I, I, it hurts. <laughs> Keenathan. Uh, okay. You find suitable adventurers for this quest, or my name's not Keenathan. Pirates are in town again. Wonder what they're planning now. Looking for a boat? Just follow the signposts. I 
our boat is the best. See you at the docks. Supplies and trade goods. Mushroom scramble. Can't carry any more meals though. Keep going for the goat boat. <laughs> Heard the pilot crew is back. Apparently they're looking for some coin. Some coin or some coin. You get that conch in the chest up there? I wonder what they're for. A little further now. Boat this way. <laughs> I like how they're blocking off the town. We're playing pirates today. Just have to decide who I'll be. A little further now. Hey, this group looks like they can sit. Uh, they can sail. Greetings. Is this your boat? Vast strangers. Got anything to say to the captain? You can say it to me. First mate, Yolanda Fortwall. At your service. In fact, service is my middle name. We're a pirate crew searching for the legendary ghost ship. We don't engage in battle anymore, but back in the day, we did it all. Fetching a remedy in a cavern, only to find out the town had burned in the meantime? Check. Oh. Being left at one hit point so the one uh the big baddie could kill us next time, double check. Heck, we've been in jail because four Imperial soldiers appeared during dialogue instead of a random encounter. Right. Dot dot dot. Tough crowd, huh? Fine, let's do introductions. Meet our leader, Captain Cliche, daughter of legendary pirate. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. We were hoping we could... The one in the back with the oversized shirt? That's our quartermaster, Valtrade. He's the guy that's good at everything. Ahoy there. And the tall one's Keenathan, our windmates. Keeps our sails full so no one has to row. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. My name is Keenathan. Right. In case you notice the double eye patch there, uh, <clears throat> that's because Keenathan can only do magic while blindfolded. Discovered his powers as a kid while he was put on pirate costume while he, uh, when he put on a pirate costume while he was already carrying a pirate costume. Oh, oh. oh. Words. <laughs> God damn it, though. Nice to meet you all. I'm Valir. These are my friends Zale, Garl, and Teeks. We need to secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. Boy, Captain, seems these two, uh, seems to me these two be Silstice warriors. I. Seems that be the case. What impeccable timing! Now, Captain Cliche here certainly take you can certainly take you to Wraith Island for a price, of course. Shall we make a deal? If you can beat Valtrade at arm wrestling, you get to ride for free. But if you lose, you have to uh, run a little errand for us. What do you say? Uh, 
terms are simple enough. I'm not sure we should make you a deal with pirates. They seem nice to me. Doesn't feel like you have much of a choice. Oh, sure, go ahead and refuse the call so we can all pretend it might not happen. Keep it safe and predictable. Any other tropes you had in mind for your journey? I think you're lampshading a little hard. How about buying linear upgrades from every single town where blacksmiths have are somehow increasingly more capable the further up north they live? Who, of course, uh, happened to uh, live in a shed. <clears throat> and, of course, happened to live in a shed despite selling daggers at 25,000 gold a pop. Fine, have it your way. When you're ready for adventure, come meet us at the Humble Boast and we'll make a deal. The Humble Boast? Local tavern, just follow the ducks. With the live crew, time to call it a day. Aye aye, Captain. I knew it, there's a tavern. Kicking back sounds good. I'll go right now and try to meet the chef. See you there. Talk about a wacky bunch. They seem innocuous enough. But we probably should go for it. Should probably. To the humble boast, then. Welcome to the best offer there is. Just feel the breeze. I'm in the market for a new dinghy, but I'm not sure which one I want. Don't forget you can buy cooking ingredients. We have lots of variety here in Brisk. Welcome. Were you looking for new equipment? Well, first, I think I should sell the stuff I've accumulated. Okay. What's all this then? Decreases damage taken. Negates enemy defense bonus while casting. Chance to automatically timing blocks. A uh, chance of auto. Okay. Ensures double hits on regular attacks. All right. I'm going to buy these, even though I'm not going to use them. Interesting concept to. Um, Sell game mechanics. Hey, you're the ones who fixed the flying lift. Thanks, it's... Thanks, it's nice to be able to visit Brisk for some shopping again. Heading out? Have a look at my fresh vegetables. That pot was a little too brightly colored. It looked like it was actually interactable. 
Here to watch the boats arriving. Good talk, kid. King Amulet. Good magic defense. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. All right, might as well. that sleeper statue? My friend says there's an older version of it hidden somewhere, but I don't believe her. Statue of the sleeper. I love my job. I'd be hanging out in the sun all day anyway. I can appreciate that. Soon be high season, or the high season. We're getting ready to double patrol time. Grandpa says we'll eat some ice cream later. I can't wait. There's nothing I love more than spending time with my grandkid. What a blessing. Aww. Pirates in town. I'll try to sneak up to them. Snuck, uh, sneak up on them. The abandoned wizard lab north of Brisk. I have half a mind to go in there and see if there's any treasure, but the thing doesn't even have a door. entirely sure I like the way the, uh, the maps are built to make me feel like uh, I'm literally missing everything. Plus, I hear the money's, uh, there's good money to be made. Wouldn't starting anew be great? I don't know. I've heard scary things about Wraith Island. It's cursed or something. Apparently, no one who goes there ever returns. Nonsense. They just want to keep the good opportunities to themselves. Well, our neighbors never returned. Exactly. They had no reason to. Don't you see? That's got to be what it is. I'm not too sure about this. I really should ask my landlord to block the entrance at the top. People keep passing through my place. Place. I can't help but feel energized. Hello. Uh, 
Aha. This is my favorite spot. Can you feel the breeze? It's no wonder how this uh, town, or how the town got its name. Was that, was that what I did that puzzle for? Ah, this is why I dropped away. Oh. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Whoever lives here must eat a lot of bananas. I'm sure that's a reference, but I don't know what the reference is. Power belt. Oh, come on, you wear two belts. Fake RPG, can't even wear two belts. in Nomura. Shiny Pearl. Cleaning f clothes is fun when you're at a, a half a beach. You're cleaning your clothes in the salt water? Oh, I guess I can just do this. Oh no, someone found our secret spot. We found this while digging. You have to... Uh, you can have it if you uh, promise not to tell. Don't tell anyone about our secret spot. Um, you're just out on the open beach. Uh, I mean, I'll take the shell, but... Thing to be found out here in the water. Got this, son. Only 40 more. Uh, I hate fishing so much. But Dad says we can't leave until we've caught enough. Been here forever. Think you could lend a hand? Once we have 40 fish fillets, be able to leave. Can you spare some fish? 
I really want to get out of here. Thanks. Only 15 to go. Interesting. Of course, they, uh, I mean, that explains why they blocked the, um, water earlier, but they probably should have taken the signs down. Anytime. Look around a little more. Just make sure the chimney is in good working condition. There won't be much time for maintenance during the high season. Ah, the ocean, bringer of dreams and n notion. So that's not incorrect. You could sure go for a swim right about now. I'm always caught in the middle of their argument. Do I look like a carrier pigeon? It's not fair, she always picks Kenithan. I saw someone swim under the docks the other day. Such irresponsible behavior. Huh. Under the docks, you said. Welcome to my house. I'm sorry, but I'm not accepting visitors at this time. Unless you happen to carry a trader signet. Oh, well, that cha does change everything now, doesn't it? Welcome to the hidden market. All right, uh, dubious dare, tome of knowledge, double edge. Um, so, let me go ahead. I will use that one. More experience. Oh, that one automatically equipped itself. That's... None of the others have done that. Interesting. for coffee and explained I had to study for the exam. Then the waiter said, uh, so not a small then, medium? 
saying, I said I'm studying for finals. He apologized and gave me a large. Keep an eye on those pirates. Uh, one moment. Wheels table. Anyone with their own wheel and, uh, and at least two figurines can play. Oh. I'll let it go just so long as you do not uh, go on thinking. I just learned that. Which I didn't need to hear since I practically invented it. Oh. My friend here, who is uh, one of my many connections throughout the world, just told me what happened in the wind tunnels. Scary stuff. Thanks again for the help. Nothing better than a cold drink after a hard day of work being busier than everyone else. Oh. I have a very unique work situ uh, unique situation at work. I wear many hats and everything would stop working well if I ever quit or went on a vacation. Uh, another feeling telling you. I saw it with my own eyes. It was less than a hundred yards from the front of my in front of my ship. Oh yeah? Well it was less than ten yards from my ship once. Believable. Just like that, you're a natural. Chef, thanks so much. This will really come in handy. Anytime. Reckon I'm the only one who should be thanking you for all the tips. Look at him, already making friends. <laughs> oh, there you are. Ready to go see the uh, ready to go see the pirates? Thanks for the chat, Garl. You're as real as it gets. Well, look who it is. The deal stands if you can't beat a uh, Valtrade at arm wrestling, y'all gonna need to fetch an item for us. After which, Pirate's Honor will take you to Wraith's Island. Wraith Island. Do yeah. you accept these terms? Wait. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. It's just a little arm wrestling match, eh? I. Should we make a deal? Yolanda is ready. I'll stay here. Got a lot of research notes to sort and organize. Wait. What? Huh? Where are you in a jar? Was it a message? I. That's very strange. I guess it's your cargo. Fine. We accept. Everybody, arm wrestling battle. Let's go. Beautiful. Now, Trade, you're up. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. I'll do it. Plus arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, Valir. I'll be your challenger. Valtrade. Captain? You can't leave without the coin. Go all out. Aye, aye, Captain. Right, tough one, are you? Uh, right. <clears throat> tough one, you look like. Ready? 
on three. One, two, three. I fucking knew it. <laughs> okay. Wasted. <laughs> Oof. Get shrecked, girl. Cheater! I'm sorry, did I miss the part where we agreed on a no magic shirt rule? Sorry, pal. Captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome! This will be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. You're lucky we didn't ask about any specifics. Should have negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. <laughs> Valtre truly is good at everything. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? Captain? North of, Brisk's is, North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but sorry say it conceals a coin of undeath accord. Oh. They are... Yeah, they're really just... Uh, okay. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it forces them to do one's bidding. I plan on using it to force the ghost, cap ghost captain of the Vesper team to surrender his ship to me. Uh. Huzzah! How do we get in? Fear kept people away all this time, but you look like you can handle yourselves, so it shouldn't be a problem. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. Bit of magic should do the trick, Keenathan. I shall open the entrance of the abandoned wizard for, uh, or my name is not Keenathan. Oh, wait, Captain. Ain't you coming with? I'll stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fetch this coin of undeath accord, then meet me at the docks. Very tempting to steal that item idea. Aye, aye, Captain. Yolan, Valtrade, and Keith and join us. Uh, join the cargo. Of course, I would call it something better than I'm death for. Oh, so you manifested. I mean, I'd probably call it Karen's uh, coin or something, you know, something good. That was a strange glitch. Best, listen here, before we leave. Y'all notice the wheels table right there in the corner? The watchmaker invented that game. Ah, uh, that, that game. Gotten real popular over the years, too. Look, I'm sorry we had to play that little trick on you. It ain't much, but I thought if maybe we wanted to get into wheels, you could have this. Copper wheel. Warrior figurine. Mage figurine. Now play wheels. Tables can be found mostly in taverns. 
Challenge Town Champions to earn new figurines and improve your wheel. Rules can be viewed on how to play section in the pause menu. Feel free to try it now, or we can head uh, to the Wizard Lab right away if you'd prefer. Well, may as well see what it's about. Note that I did not check uh, how the rules work. <laughs> yeah, I should probably should have done that. Okay. <laughs> Clockwork Battler. Controls to here. Match energy to make your heroes attack and bring the enemy's crown to HP to zero. Uh, okay. Three spins per round. Uh, spin the wheels can be browsed and locked and locked in the game. There are spins. Okay. Action rod must be lowered and uh, matching the associated energy. Okay. Energy is left uh, uh, diamond. Okay. Okay. Protects the crown with bulwark. Evolving heroes. Uh, when they have enough XP, they'll evolve. Uh, they gain one XP for each tile in the Blue background matching their energy type. Start off as browns and uh, can evolve to silver and gold. Building the XP bar on a gold hero will spawn a bomb, dealing two damage directly to the opponent's crown, disregarding their bulwark. Each hero has its own strengths and weaknesses. There are a total of six playable heroes warrior, mage, archer, engineer, assassin, and priest. Okay. Uh, fast damage dealer. Easily blocked by the bulwark. Attacks twice. First fireball at, uh, is at ground level. Easily blocked by the bulwark. Uh, While well, the second fireball flies at the height of six units, guaranteeing a hit on crown, even if bulwark is maxed out. Archer strong against crown, weak against bulwark. Strong against bulwark, weak against crown. Specialist hero. Uh, attacks the laser the opponent's hero. Support hero heals the team's crown and gives energy to the fellow hero. Interesting. Ah, uh, worth trying. Now that I know what I'm doing.
seems interesting. I win. Gray. So weren't you staying back in the tavern? That's just like our captain to know when and where to, we'd stumble upon the perfect helpers for this quest. Here's hoping Captain Cliche will hold up her end of the bargain. The coin of Undeath Accord can be found in the wizard lab north of Brisk. Now that's a proper quest! Remember to hit the save point from time to time, eh, kid? Be a shame if you beat something big and then had to do it all over again. Believe me. Nothing quite worthwhile, or like a worthwhile quest to keep uh, some spring in one steps. Probably should have uh, saved there. Oh, back to the camp to save. Uh, so it is about 11 o'clock and I'm losing steam pretty fast. And while I am enjoying my time with this, it's. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be. This is going to be one of those games I'm going to play for a long period every time. Something about the um, map exploration, the area exploration, is really tiresome to me. <laughs> but maybe I've just had it with um, convoluted maps. All right. <clears throat> I am going to... Let's see who's uh, streaming. I know Muse was streaming earlier. Yeah, rest to my usual capacity. So don't rest. You're sending mixed messages here. That's fair. <laughs> okay, it looks like um, Muse is still... Streaming Siblings of Mana with uh, Necrofancies. So I will go ahead and raid over into that. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. Um, I know I haven't been streaming as much as I ha uh, used to, and I mean to get back on that as soon as, I don't know, maybe uh, some catastrophic, uh, catastrophic force shifts the Earth's uh, climate or something. I don't know sooner than you think. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Um, reading over to...